anyone else watching from the outside say is we're crazy, but when you do go down, you learn to love it. 80 mile an hour, 130 kilometers an hour. There's Dragon! Oh! It always does feel like a lifetime when you're upside down. Bruises on my leg, my ribs, my scapula. It's all bruised and battered. Um, the helmets, we needed new helmets. Most importantly, Mika and myself, we walked away from it and, you know, we come back the next week and raced, which was absolutely incredible. For quite a lot of weeks, I was asked, oh, what's happening? What's the season plan? What's happening? What's happening? And then they got all the women into like one room and said, um, well, there isn't, there isn't any money. It was, well, yeah, there's, there's no money, but we're putting the money into medal contention. How can you say three men's crews are more medal potential than one women's crew? having like a dream or a goal for and working towards it and kind of sacrificing so many other things, sacrificing your family, your friends, holidays, um, your Christmas day for instance, you're in the gym, you're on the sprint track, you're giving everything you have, moving away from your family. It's so hard to explain like the kind of the devastation that I felt at that moment when I was told. Like part of me couldn't believe it, but at the same time with how the system was, it, kind of didn't surprise me at the same time. I spent a further week arguing. That still didn't work and I thought, I'm not wasting any more time, it's two weeks until the winter season in Olympic year. Let's, let's reach out to the public and it was almost, it was a, it was a last resort. I sat down and said, what, what can I do? Making the crowdfunding page was like, it could not work at all. I might raise 10 pound on it. The thoughts in my head were, if we don't get near enough, we could just give the money back. And I remember, I would, I'd just finished a training session. I was sat and I was about to eat my pack lunch. And then when the boys nudged me and went, look, and I looked up at the screen and I was on the news and I was like, oh my gosh. I can't believe I was like, it started. It went absolutely wild and I was sat and just reading the comments that people were writing and I was just so overwhelmed. I remember we it was taken up, taken up, taken up and then someone put £5,000 in there and I just thought, maybe we can do it because we're almost a third there in day one. And as it went on and we, we hit the target by like day five or day six and I was just in tears. It was going mad, the fund me page Binging through with a new donation, media people calling up wanting to know more about the story. Friends I hadn't heard from for a long time ringing up saying they couldn't believe it. Messages from people who you're competing against. People calling up, we've heard the story, we can help. And my phone was just going absolutely crazy. What happened is we've been able to come out here, do the full tour, full training, the everything that we needed, eaten right, medical services and resting properly and sensible flight times. It's, it's just helped us with performance. It wasn't getting by to get to the, to the, to the games. It, it then allowed us to perform. If a driver's head is not clear on that start block, you're not, you're not focusing on the way down and you're putting yourself and your brakeman and the equipment at risk. I was running on fear last year. This year, that, that, the improved atmosphere allows me to be like, breathe, this is the process that you have to focus on. And we thought we are powered by the people who have to put it on the set. And my family just went, you have to put that on the set. And everyone asks us about it and we can tell everyone. You're still gonna have to be powered by people. Hopefully not, hopefully. Hopefully everything will, will fall into place and the people can just watch, they won't have to dig their hands in their pockets. <laughs>